excuse me. What's up, gang? It is Saturday morning right now, March 2nd, 2024, about 6.30 a.m. Uh, we got a great day planned. I didn't know I was going to make a YouTube video today. I was making my coffee, and I saw the camera on the counter, and I was like, man, we got some fun stuff planned. Today's going to be a great day. Let's make a video out of it. Uh, so, we're at the gym right now. We're meeting up with a bunch of the guys from A Lion Within, uh, which is my men's group. We're gonna crush a workout together. We're gonna head back to the house. Uh, we're gonna cook breakfast there, have breakfast, and just hang out and have fellowship together this morning, um, and just hang out. It's been a good day so far, man. I mean, I know it's only 6.30 a.m., but I got up at 4.30, no alarm, um, so I wasn't in any rush. Woke up, took a cold shower, got out of the shower, did my little morning routine. I'll show some clips from that. Um, read my proverb of the day. Each day I read the corresponding chapter of Proverbs to the day of the month. Uh, so today is March 2nd, read Proverbs chapter 2. Uh, took some notes on that. Had my optimized coffee. Um, my coffee recipe, I'll drop it so it's, I put grass-fed collagen, grass-fed ghee, raw honey, and cinnamon in there. Um, had my coffee and had some water with electrolytes and trace minerals before the workout. And then I had some medjool dates and mangoes on the way here. So we're charged up, we're ready to go, um, waiting on the guys to pull up. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good day. produces endurance. Endurance, character, character produces hope for other men. Let's go, bro. We're out here working. Saturday morning. Embrace, yes, sir. Embrace the discomfort. Suffering, endurance, endurance, character, character, hope for other men. Sam? Yes, sir. Start that round. I was so close to puking. Dude, never. How you feeling, sir? Pushing my limits. Good workout. Yeah. The lion diet. Lamb chops for breakfast. Oh, he's gonna be so many clips. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. Take me through your plate. We're gonna go crazy with the lion with It's good food. Take me through your plate. Filet, sweet potato, avocado, egg, delicious. Uh, dear Sticky, what's the, what you got a problem with that, bro? <laughs> oh, my bad, bro. Yeah, you're getting some of the, you're getting the pesticides. Back to the house now, chefing up breakfast. 
We got lamb chops. We got grass fed steaks and deer steak. What we got there? What we got going on? Can't mix, baby. The big jug, bro? Salt, pepper, garlic salt, celery salt, onion salt, white pepper. <laughs> bro, I was struggling. Oh. I was on the verge of fainting. Father, man, thank you so much, God. Thank you so much. Let's just take a second to acknowledge Him and His presence here. He was with us this morning when we worked out. He's here right now. You're here right now. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. Yo, Kyle, does it feel like that? <laughs> yeah. How we looking, Sam? We're looking delicious, baby. Real master. Uh, deer assistant took to what? Mid rare medium? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do mid rare. Steaks on the grill. We got What's it that eggs and butter. Ooh. Looking good. Oh no, we're going in the back. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> I'll cook him. Chef in the kitchen, cuz. We got eggs, butter, steak, sweet potatoes. I'm gonna slice up some avocados. That's how it's done right there. One, one grilling tip. One tip. Fundamental tip. Don't cut into your steak when you're cooking it to see if it's done. Why? That's a rare steak. Okay. That's a medium rare steak. Okay. It's a medium to medium well. Okay. Touch your fingers, man. Woo! It's gonna keep that juice inside your steak and it's gonna keep it tasting delicious. It should be a proverb, bro. <laughs> Proverbs of grilling. Stay juicy. Stay juicy. Stay yes, juicy. Right. We on the juice. <laughs> Stay juicy. Let's play spontaneous and make up grilling. Basically, it's freestyle. As all I have to do, it would be a bad job. Hey. I guess my friend is oh. very so eager too, but I'm just so hungry. Big <laughs> All right, guys. Kayla just farted. Um, really, a turn for the worse today. Uh, nah, I really don't know what we're gonna do. Actually, from here on out, we we had a lot of stuff planned. Oh my god! Um, we were planning on meeting, hanging out with Ethan, but I don't think we can do that anymore. <laughs> I was gonna hang out with Matt. I don't think we can do that. Um, I really, I don't know where to go from here. Got any advice after that? <laughs> She's gonna claim it was her stomach. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, we're taking off to a coffee shop to go meet up with Ethan and do some. A smell like what? Just like a lot. Like it's things. I don't even. Like what? <laughs> yeah, my first time is always grass fed beef. Grass fed beef. I smell like grass fed beef. <laughs> Is it dense? No, the actual beef. You smell like grass. <laughs> smell like grass. That's how you know you're eating right. Um, anyways, I'm going to a coffee shop, meet up with Ethan. We're going to do some creative work for P3. If you don't know what P3 is, you will. Hey, Kayla, what would you say to a younger, a younger man, a younger version of me? A younger version of you, or are you in the future watching this? No, no, no. What would you say to a 16 year old man? A 16 year old you or some 16 year old boy? You can imagine it's me, but. Okay. I would tell you that the world's gonna try to tell you that you are one million things and 90% of them are a lie. So step out of the world, step out of the box that it tries to place you in. Look into your heart, look into the access that you have to God, ask your heart who you really are, look at things you did when you were a little boy before the world tried to corrupt you and tell you that this is what you're meant to be or this is what you're meant to become or in school you have to grow up and be this. Think about what you did before all of that, what lit you up and what made you feel safe to play and explore and be free. 
connect to that part of yourself and then ask yourself who you truly are and then stick by that and buy by that and don't let the world tell you who you're meant to be. Be you. They'll try to change you. Okay. They'll try to shape okay. you. <laughs> Just make sure you stay true to the one that created you. He lives within you. He does. Hold up, bro. <laughs> Alright, gang. We are at a smoothie bowl place hanging out with my longtime brother Matt. And look at look what this man hold up. Wait, don't don't mess it up, bro. Hold on, let me flip this. Flip this man. Until it's done. And then show here. So we got Alright, so we got a real acai bowl. Somebody who knows how to order an acai. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we got Matt over here. It's all in the dip. Dipping protein balls in this. Acai chia seeds and bee pollen right there, baby. All right, Matt Shields. One, one thing to say to the to the people, man. Man. To a young man. But more importance on the people around you, less importance on yourself. Good things will happen. Factual information. Um, selfishness destroys, man. It destroys. And uh, selfishness will try to get in between your relationships, will try to destroy your relationships. But like Matt said, there, there's there's life in selflessness in serving others. Go check out Matt's brand, serve others. Um, man, that's where life is found when when we when we put others above ourselves. And it's a hard thing to do. It's not natural, um, but it's something we should be striving for and be putting intention into is serving our friends, serving our family, and. Um, and putting them on top. Shot of espresso for you. Somehow this video rolled from Saturday morning with the boys to Monday afternoon. Um, anyways, I took some time to reflect on this weekend and I have some points that I want to share. I think these are really valuable points of reflection and just things to think about. Um, Anyways, Saturday morning, woke up, worked out with the boys, had a meal together, cooked steak and eggs, uh, played music, worshiped together, and then went and did some creative work with a friend and hung out with, with good friends that evening, played board games, doing life with other people, living in community, nourishing relationships, focusing on other people, so much better than the lone wolf mentality and trying to do everything on your own. I would rather do absolutely nothing in terms of success in the world's eyes and live a life with vibrant relationships um, with my life intertwined with other people than live a successful life in the world's eyes, accomplish everything, build a huge business, make a ton of money, drive a nice car, live in a nice house, yet lose all my relationships. because. If what you focus on, what you prioritize, prioritize one thing, something else is going to have to suffer. That's just how it works. Um, if I'm putting all my focus into work, 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 grinding, waking up early, headphones on, hoodie on, 
grinding by myself seven days a week, my relationships are going to suffer. I would far rather live a life with meaningful relationships, good friends, good connection to my family, with my life intertwined, with, with my path crossed um, with my friends, hanging out with friends, doing the simple things in life with friends, than make millions of dollars, live in a nice house, drive a nice car, um, and not have vibrant relationships and do life with people. Like, man, fall in love with the real, fall in love with the things that actually matter, fall in love with the simple things, man. Find beauty in the simple things, in a walk around the park with, with a friend, in painting outside in the sun. Um, I just spent time outside painting, and it was just like, man, this is life. This is life, or, or writing, or reading, the simple things. Winnie, come here. Come here, girl. My dog hates me. I was going to say your dog, um, but fine, there's so much, there's beauty in the simple things, man. There's beauty in the simple things. I hope some of these points spark some reflection in you to, to consider these things and, and really just observe and, and figure out what you're focused on that might not actually matter. I mean, I'm focused on shit that doesn't matter too, but my main focus, consciously, I'm trying to keep it on the things that do. Trying to fall in love with the real um, and not screens, not money, not things that when I'm on my deathbed, I'm going to look back and, and not care about. Um, anyways, coming at you guys with a bunch more content. Um, I, I feel so free to create. I, like I said at the beginning of this video, I took time. I might not throw that clip in. I'll throw it in now. I took time to... Like the past two or so months, three months, I haven't really created much content. I haven't filmed anything. Um, I've been writing a lot, but I've been reflecting and taking time to really think um, and go deep into my why behind recording videos like this. My why with posting content, Instagram, YouTube, whatever I'm posting. It's like, why am I doing this? Um, and after taking that time to reflect, and really get clear on my why and realize um, and set set intentions but realize that I am doing things for the right reasons and my heart is in the right place and I don't have to wonder if I'm doing things for the right reasons anymore it has unlocked just a freedom to be authentic to be me and to just create um, and I know why I'm doing it I know why I'm recording this video I know why I'm recording the videos that I'm gonna record this week I know exactly why um, and it feels good, man. There's freedom in it where I don't have to wonder anymore. Anyways, coming at you guys with a lot more videos. I love you. It is your birthright to thrive. It is your birthright to live a life of peace, of love, a vibrant, thriving life with, with relationships, with, with joy um, and gratitude. That is your birthright. We live in a world that wants to take that away from you, that wants you sick, that wants you weak. And uh, you need to fight back. You need to stand up. And you need to, we need to run wild, man. We can't let anything stop us. Don't let anything stop you today. Run wild with who you know you are. Run wild with the things that you know you want to do. Run wild with, with the life that you want to live. Focus on love. Focus on people. Focus on humility, focus on peace, focus on freedom. Subscribe for more. I love you.